For the first time in nearly a decade, Seattle's housing market is in flux. According to a recent report from Redfin, it's cooling off faster than any other city in the country with home prices selling for 2% less in August than in July. Are we at a turning point? Angelique Cockaday is live in Seattle with this this morning. Angelique spoke to a house flipper who has a pretty interesting angle on all this. What does she see? Uh, yeah, Jake, she's seeing the same thing that a lot of people are seeing right now, which is homes staying on the market for longer and in prices that just keep coming down. Open up the space and let the natural light come in. Diana Roger has been buying, remodeling, and selling homes in the Seattle area for nearly a decade. Her latest project. This is sort of a classic Northwest split level. She says last year, a home with these quartz countertops and a less than 3% mortgage rate would have sold within five days. But now. Well, I'm entering, I think, the fifth week right now. Since early 2022, the interest rate on a 30 year mortgage loan has risen from about 3% to nearly 7%. That really. Um, uh, has an impact on the amount of monthly payments uh, for borrowers. In some cases, up by more than 50%, says Doug Mielitz, Vice President of Mortgage Production at Seattle Bank. Let's say a home is $775,000. Principal and interest payment on a mortgage rate earlier this year would have been $3,300. At today's rate, it's more like $4,400. That's an $1,100 difference. Because every lender has to demonstrate the ability that the borrower has to repay the loan. Um, and in some cases, uh, inflation's uh, outpacing income gain. Leaving some buyers unable to afford a new home. A lot of uh, the questions are, well, if we sell our existing home, where are we going to go? Or like what Diana is seeing, are waiting for the perfect match. It's a great remodel, but a little further of a commute than I want. Or it's a great remodel, but the yard is different than what I need. So people are being particular. With fewer people buying homes, sellers are slashing prices, all while hoping rates improve by spring. Now, if you're looking to buy a home, Doug told me a good place for anyone to start is to figure out how much you want to pay monthly, both the low and the high end. He also points people to the state, which offers education sem seminars to navigate this uh, complex uh, real estate market that we're in right now. They offer those for free. For now, reporting live here in Seattle, Angelique Cockaday, King 5 News. And if we look at housing trends in Tacoma, the pattern is similar to Seattle, but with different price ranges. Here's a graphic showing you Seattle homes in orange, Tacoma in black. The average home in Tacoma is going for about $480,000 right now. That's up 7% from last year. The number of houses on the market, though, down 19% compared to last year. Houses on average are staying on the market for two weeks rather than one week like it was last year.